Imagine, if you will, really a, a dynamic classroom that has visually stunning works of art and the types of conversations, the debates, the dialogues that these artworks will inevitably inspire. In the early 1960s, when architect William Pereira was developing the master plan for UCI, he had always envisioned an art museum on campus. And with Langson IMCA, we are thrilled to be able to now realize that. The mission of the project is to highlight the existing collections, but also to redefine what California art is and to use that as a jumping off point to really dig deep into conversations about the history of art in California, but also its communities and how do we present these ideas in such a way to captivate both a local and national audience. One of the catalysts for the formation is some very significant collections of art that UCI was gifted back in 2017. The Irvine Museum Collection, which comprises 1,300 works of California Impressionism and plein air art from the late 19th to the early 20th century that really reflect the importance of arts and nature. And then in the same year, we received some 3,200 very diverse works from the estate of Gerald Buck that give more of a nod to the avant-garde and contemporary art. The sensibility of light, color, and place that define California has been an underpinning subject matter for many artists. So it's not surprising to see those interests reflected in in these foundational collections. We have artists in here that are generations apart, but they were focusing on some of the same concepts, and that is light, place, and space. One of the things that I applaud from our lead naming donors, Jack and Shanaz Langson, is their commitment to ensure that a well-rounded 21st century education curriculum also embrace visual culture along with the other teaching disciplines in order to expand learning opportunities for UCI students. The art department at UCI, we have a long history of what I would call radical practice that has focused on how to push methodologies forward in, into the future. And we continue to look at things that way and we continue to practice that way. Make it a provocation. Ask the question, what is California art? Challenge people when they walk into an exhibition or via a symposium, is this California art? Why, why not? What we're trying to do is expand the discourse to try to capture elements of the community that may not have been canonized in the same way that some of the more familiar movements have been. And we've been embarking on discussions with art historians and artists and community members in order to start to hone down this woolly thing that we call California art. So the idea is to both celebrate it as a place and a definition but also not limit the way that we think about it. Rather than be exclusionary, we really want to provoke thought, debate, and dialogue about this very important concept of the art that we will be collecting and preserving. <laughs>